weight. I got my 24 PCIe SSDs for my new storage server. Come on, let's go build it. If you haven't seen Nerd Sports yet, check it out. All the episodes are available now for free over at youtube.com slash channel super fun. But before we begin, we are going to need some supplies. First, a bare bones server from Supermicro. The SSG 2028R NR48N. I guess we'll just roll it there. Quad 10 gigabit network card. 64 gigs of RAM. Dual 2699 V422 core CPUs. Time for boring inventory reconciliation. Oh, I've had that in the wrong field. Damn it. <clears throat> I was scanning the wrong barcodes. And time for fun again. Everybody on board the insane train. What better place to build this new machine than our shiny new B-roll set? All I'll need is a screwdriver and maybe a table. Time for my favorite activity, shucking drives. Oh, this is gonna take a while. 24 NVMe PCIe SSDs, each rated at a theoretical up to 250 with another zero, 2,500 megabytes per second reads and 1,200 megabytes per second writes. And we are gonna take all these bad boys and we're gonna put them in a gigantic RAID array. Oh no. Cut. But how on earth do you run NVMe drives in RAID? The answer is this very special bare bones machine from Supermicro. In fact, this box can handle not just 24, but 48 NVMe drives, giving us the capacity to, without changing the model of drives that we're using, have up to about 50 terabytes of solid state storage in a single box. And did I even mention that it's all in a 2U form factor? Now that we've got everything we need for assembly, it's time to open this sucker up, peel off the oh so satisfying protective plastic and take a closer look. At the back are expansion slots, a 1000 watt 80 plus titanium power supply with an extra in case the first one dies and a couple regular SATA two and a half inch drive bays because you know you're a badass when all of your drives don't fit in the front of your case. Back at the front, we've got 24 NVMe slots, but this machine supports 48. Where do the other 24 go? Ah, that right there is the secret of Supermicro's simply double enclosures, a whole additional bank. But how do you feed 48 PCI Express based drives? Here's where the magic happens. One of the three expansion slots that runs off of the second CPU is occupied by a PCIe X16 Quad U.2 card and there are four native ports that use a different connector on the motherboard itself that run off the first CPU. Then both of these go to backplanes behind the banks of drives. Since we're in here, this seems like a good time to show how the quad 10 gigabit network card that we showed before goes in. This can be upgraded in the future, though I don't see myself needing anything like that for a while. And we can throw in our 22 core CPUs and our relatively pedestrian 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I think I'll have to steal some memory from the server this is replacing. And that's pretty much it for assembly. Time to install the drives. Oh, there go all the drives. Well, who didn't see that one coming?
finally done. Why is every single one of these attached with four screws? Anyway, let's take it over to the test bench. So I have all the SSDs plugged into this card right now, which means a theoretical 16 gigabytes per second of total bandwidth using 16X PCIe Gen 3. Let's go find out how that theoretically translates into the real world. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, let's get some network connections here. Let's get some, oh yeah, VGA. You know it's performance when it has VGA connectivity. Got this all set up. You'd think I plug in servers here every once in a while, right? All right, let's press the button and listen for the sweet sound of performance. That's not bad for a 2U. So fast forward half an hour, we have got everything set up. So disk management, we have created a RAID 0. You're going to device manager. Disk drives, oh look, look, look at them all. Obviously we would never run a RAID 0. I am still looking into what will be the best way to configure them all with a good balance of performance and redundancy. But this video is all about taking it to the extremes. So we're gonna run Addo with a Q depth of 10 on our Z drive here and find out just how fast it can go. Whoa, now we're talking. That's like 2,800 megs per second writes. It's like play by play. Wow. Oh, it's over 9,000. We did it. We cracked 10 gigabytes per second write speeds at 512K. Wow of a theoretical 16 or 15 or so. Look at that. Over 11 gigabytes per second writes. Over one gigabyte per second reads for eight megs. I can't imagine it getting much higher than that. So there you have it, folks. Past four to eight megabytes. We're looking at read and write speeds in the neighborhood of 10 gigabytes per second with our highest peak at around 12.7, coming close to the theoretical maximum of our PCI Express X16 link here. Pretty freaking bananas, if you ask me. And we should be able to easily, even once we work some parity or redundancy into the equation, saturate our four 10 gigabit network connections at the back here, once we get all of those bonded together. Oh, hey, it's another Blue Apron spot, and it's a new year. Maybe eating healthy and cooking in more instead of eating out is a resolution for you. Blue Apron allows you to create delicious chef-designed recipes at home. They deliver all the ingredients you need right to your doorstep in exactly the right proportion so you don't have to go to the grocery store and you don't have to waste any food, and it's delivered in a refrigerated box so everything stays fresh. Even if you're not at home, when your delivery arrives. Everything is sourced from quality suppliers. They offer two different types of plan, the two-person plan and the family plan, and there is no commitment. You can skip or cancel the service any time you want. All meals can be prepared in 40 minutes or less, so you'll actually save time compared to going out if your family is anything like mine. And they're adding new dishes to their menu every week. So try it out. And for the first 100 people, you'll get three free meals using the link in our video description. So, thank you guys very much for tuning into this video. If you disliked it, well, that's what that button's there for, isn't it? But if you liked it, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe check out the link to where to buy a cool, fast SSD, maybe just one if you're not into buying 24 of them at Amazon in the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store and our community forum and don't forget to check out our other channels, which you'll find a video of up here. I'll see you guys again next time.
What's he going to do next time? Nobody knows. Maybe he's going to rip out a fan. <laughs> While it's running, hot swap fans. Motherfuckers.